everyone Archana here I hope you all are doing well I'm so sorry I couldn't able to make a video last Sunday so um, just some family responsibilities so um, I'm making this time a little bit different um, colors I'm using not so shabby um, the basic paper is a gray cardstock and this one is a DCWV um, matte finished kind of papers. Um, they have a stack in different colors. So I got one from here and I created this um, background using a basic blue paper cardstock and some um, blue colored burlap and I stitched already. So we need to assemble it quickly. And it is six by six paper pan. And I'm using this uh, new stamp set. I got it uh, last week. And uh, it says, um, it is a Wild Rose Studio stamp. And the name is Emily Walking. So this is the one. And I used my Copex and I colored this image. So we are just going to assemble it. Real quick. I still didn't get a time to go and get my fabric tag, so I'm using hot glue gun today for our flowers. And uh, I'll just stick it on a little bit this side because I need to show this zigzag uh, stitching. So like that. And then I have a die cut here, uh, which is Marilyn sent me a die. Um, I don't have it right now, but it is Anna Griffin die, very, very pretty. And I um, just randomly distressed with Prima chalk edgers in three different colors. And we are using somewhere here. So um, I think I'll use a liquid kind of glue for that so quickly I'll use this glue because I just don't want to use hot glue gun for everything and this this glue I don't think it will work for this kind of die cuts so always trusting on my liquid glues so I do have this tacky glue here and I I wanted to stick it a little bit off center because I need to show this beautiful design outside off of the card a little bit and uh, I am going to use this piece of um, net I don't think you can see so we we will use it right here to give some different just uh, different effect so I am not sure how I'm going to stick it but let's see maybe our um, this image is going here so I don't need to stick it use the glue all over so what I'll do I'll just put a little bit glue here in the center that and then I'll just use this net I hope it stays like that and then I need to use this image a little bit tilted like this one and I'm thinking to use the pop dot so let's see we will use some pop dots so we can um, tuck some things inside under the image like laces or flowers so it is always um, helpful uh, to use these pop dots to raise your images and uh, you can easily add things underneath that is what I like it actually so, and these pop, pop dots are so tall these are studio G pop, pop dots 
usually I use a lot of but right now just for a time sake I'm just using five of them and our image will be here right like it. and I do have a piece of some crochet uh, uh, lace and we will use it right here somewhere okay so let's see my hot glue gun is ready or not yeah it's ready so I just I'm always worried using afraid of using hot glue gun oh gosh anyway I did it okay I'll just cut this excess part and uh, we are going to arrange some flowers around here on other side on this side so I do have some wilder kid craft 40 mm two-tone wild roses so super pretty color uh, I hope you will you are seeing it properly because it's rainy out there like it's very cloudy we are going to have a storm I guess um, so light is little bit horrible so. but anyway you will get an idea what I'm making so it's okay so we'll, I will add one flower I'll arrange right here and I want another flowers exactly near to the Oh my goodness, I'm not comfortable with this hot glue gun. I need to go and get my fabric tag. Anyway, so um, these two flowers are the base uh, to start the cluster. And I already made a little bit, uh, a small bouquet kind of, a big rose from Prima. Some this, These two roses are from Crafty City. So I just... Uh, gather together and uh, use the same wire to um, hold it like hold it tight and we will use it right here okay and then um i have a couple of lilac colored sweetheart roses so pretty since her dress is in this color, so we will use this one right here, and one can be here, I guess. Okay. And then I do have some of the sweetheart blossoms, wild orchid crop blossoms in lilac, blue and purple color. So we will try to use them somewhere. So I need to cut the, this wire. And I really like these flowers. This, these, these are a filler flower I can say. So you can use as many as you want and they come in a bulk like in 50 quantity and 100 quantity so you will have plenty of them to use on your projects uh, I just noticed means uh, that this this image has this cute teddy bear and he hold a daisies and some of daisies are around here so I should have used daisies here but anyway uh, or moms but that's okay and this one goes somewhere here to hide the this little part of this lace and this is basic flower cluster we made and uh, 
I need some more flowers right here. So we will use same lilac color rose right there. Right here. Just a small cluster we, we are going to make right here. And uh, I think I need some rose buds, which I have in lilac color. And this comes in 100 quantities, so you have plenty of them to use. And um, I got some more sweetheart blossoms. I do have one this rose bird so let's see where we use everything there so this rose bird goes like maybe under here but this is big so I don't want to use that anyway we'll use one of the this sweetheart blossom flower and then I think we are done there like that and a couple of these few of these cute tiny rose buds so cute they are 4 mm very very small hmm. when you are using hot glue gun you need to work really fast really really fast oh gosh see that's how that's what i don't like this thingy huh okay i wanted it a little bit close but because of that glue it couldn't go inside so what we need to do we need to use a couple of flowers right here so let's see if I have a right colored flower, I do have some beautiful lilac colored blossoms here. So let's use those. Those are a bit darker than the other one which we used, but it's okay. is not turned out what I wanted but that's fine then we'll use some more of these rose burrs on this side and this time I'm going to um, make a knot a little bit closer so will not happen what we just see okay that's better so far this is our running thread series card and I hope you like it. The light is horrible. I'm so sorry for that. And I'll post the pictures on Facebook and here also. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.